It was a point today, David, but it, it, I feel like it, it could have gone either way. Yeah, I, I thought we started off great, obviously. I think we've been fairly comfortable in that first half. Um, the second half, obviously, they've, come, they've scored. A fairly fortunate goal, although it's preventable. Um, you know, it just ricochets in off the lad. Then they put us under a bit of pressure for 15, 20 minutes. But then in the end, you know, we, we changed, you know, made a trouble substitution and we probably should have, could have scored three goals in the last 10 minutes. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. You know, the lads are in there devastated that they've not won the game, which is, for me, it's sort of testament to, what, to how hard they've fought today and how hard they've battled. Was it vintage sort of Grimsby in, in possession? No. But what they did show, they showed a lot of fight and a lot of heart and a lot of character for the, for the team and the badge and you could see that, you know, and the reason they get a chance to win the game in the last 10 minutes is because of what they did certainly in that second half in terms of character and all them emotions that we all want to see. Now we've got to make sure that we do a bit of, you know, do that and match that up with, with good football at the same time. Fantastic response to last weekend as well, start the game, scoring in that first two, three minutes. Yeah, look, we've, a, a lot's been said about last week and I understand that. They were trying hard last week. There's no, there's no getting around that. Um, we've just got to be a little bit smarter and a little bit better. But we've also got to show a little bit more um, belief in ourselves. Um, and I think they showed that today. Obviously, the early goal helps. We are shadow of a doubt. But then I say at the end, because of how they've performed against the ball, when Morecambe have got the ball, we, sh we should we should win the game. You know we've had a clear penalty as well. That's you know it's, it's, it's GBH. Um, but look, we we we'll take a point, but we're, we're a bit disappointed it's not three. I think the key what in that first half was was capitalising on that first goal and building on it. That yeah, first course. goal. The first goal was a terrific goal. Yeah. You know, Cliffy, Gav, Jamie. You know it's a it's a terrific goal, and then Rose is just there to to tuck it in. It's a, it's a terrific goal. It's, um, and that's what, we, that's what we know, the, you know, I see that in training often and it's doing that and repeating that and doing it time and time again. We've worked a lot on that kind of thing and so it's really pleasing that the players are doing that in, in games in the hardest sort of environment, if you like. And, you know, and coming here is not easy. You know, so to do that against a, a decent team, you know, the, if they'd have won in midweek, they'd have been in the playoffs. You know, this is not... You know, everyone thinks it's little old Morecambe. That's not the case. You know, they're going well. I think they're in the best fun of run of form in the whole season um, so so yeah we've we've you know, we've played well at times we've certainly played well against the ball you know for virtually the whole game and we probably should have won it at the end so yeah it's it's a good response but that's we're not just in about you know not just here just for a response we're here to win games of football and we've got to make sure that continues next week yeah you mentioned about the, about the chances towards the end the Gav Hollihan chance is probably the one that most people will talk about. I've seen it back on the replay and it did take a bit of a bobble inside that six-yard box. Yeah, yeah, listen, it's... Gav's devastated now, he's nearly crying, he's nearly in tears. Um, he thinks he's let everyone down, but his performance today was terrific, as, as it all was. And the reason he gets an opportunity to win the game is because they're all, you know, playing for the cause, playing for the badge, you know, playing for the town, all them collective things that, that, that are bespoiled upon a professional footballer um, and if he had his chance again it wouldn't hit the, it wouldn't hit the bobble and it, wouldn't, it just did his foot and go in uh, but that's the look we had you know they have a chance at, you know just before that where the lad crosses it and he chips it against the post it's like and it falls to their lad who thankfully misses and it's like that's just you know if the lad tried to do that again as in like chip it against the post when he's trying to cross it he wouldn't be able to it's, you know so we had a bit of luck at that end but it was like Lucky they ended up like that. They've had more luck because we created a great chance and it's hit a, you know the bobble on the pitch. So I'm sure they I'm sure Jed, their manager, will be thanking the groundsman and buying him a beer this weekend because it's, it's saved the side two two points. It did. Um, Justin Abiku started today for the first time. How do you feel he got on? I thought it was terrific. I thought it was a real handful. He helped Rosie. It was unfortunate to come off the pitch because we changed shape. We left Rosie on as experience and now, but. He, he, you know, we've just given him a round of applause for his football league debut there, his first start, um, because he was terrific. I thought he was really good. That's why he's at the football club. You know, we we, we watched him, and 
when we saw him when we brought him to the football club, we know he can do that. We know he can run in behind. Um, we know he can hold the ball up. And I thought he did that. You know, the only thing missing today was it was a, was a goal. And he didn't really have a chance. But I have to say, he worked his worked his socks off. And like I say, it was unfortunate to come off the pitch, really. Yeah, and I think that'll do in the world of good as well. Coming up against the Morecambe centre backs, you don't get much change out of them. Well, of course, you know that they're two strapping centre halves who are experienced, who've been around for a long time. You know, they know how to handle Justin and Beaker, and Justin got on top of them. I would say I thought it was terrific, really, 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 really good. So, good, good, good first game for him. So hopefully, uh, for, you know, first start. So hopefully he'll um, he'll, he'll continue in that thing. And great to see the fans behind you, David, as well, chanting yeah, your listen, name and everyone's yeah. together. Listen, I, I thought the fans last week were terrific. The, this week, just to say, you know, obviously next week I'm going to tell the chairman we're not letting more than 600 in to Bondon Park, <laughs> so we're going to play in front of 600, because we seem to be better in front of 600 rather than 6,000. Yeah. But listen, they were fantastic. You know, they, they have been good. They have been good. Obviously, there's a minority that don't understand yet, but we'll get there. I've got, like I say, I've got full confidence in the players what we're trying to do. Um, I've been in this situation before, so I know exactly where it is. Um, and yeah, the, the, the fans were terrific. And I hope they're going home seeing a team that's, that's done them proud, even though it's only one point, you know. So I hope that they stick with us next week. You know, they're going to need to bring the singing voices like they did today and get right behind them. Whatever the situation in the game is, keep, keep with the lads because we're going to need you.